body mass index is today's topic, and it's one measure that health professionals use to determine the health of a human body. It is only one of them. There are multiple to use, and I want to remind you that this is one of those areas that I understand this can be a personal uh, thing, and you don't have to share your information if you would not like to. Not a problem. But what body mass index is, it's an equation that we can use to get an idea of how we're doing body-wise. So the equation goes like this. BMI equals your weight in pounds divided by your height in inches. But that measurement is squared. So you square your height. And then we multiply the whole thing by 703. So let's try an example. <clears throat> let's say I'm about 175 pounds. So BMI equals 175. And let's say I'm 6 feet tall. Now there's 12 inches in a foot. So 6 times 12 is going to be 72 inches squared times 703. Now, in your calculator, the way we would type that, pretty straightforward, 175, divide, 72, you can hit the square button, and then really, since it's already done this division in this square, you can just multiply by 703. You could put all this in parentheses, that's not a bad idea, but in this case, it would be unnecessary. So we go ahead and multiply all that out, and we end up with a BMI of 17.6. So let's see, that puts us right in there somewhere. So another example, we could do the same kind of problem, but we could be searching for if we wanted to get a normal BMI, what would be the ideal weight for our height? It's pretty difficult to change your own height, <clears throat> but weight is something that we could potentially work on. So if we wanted to get to an ideal BMI, we want to find probably the middle of this normal here. So let's find the average of that, the middle. So we're going to take 18.5 and we're going to add 24.9 and we're going to divide that by 2 and we end up with what? 43.4 divided by 2 and that turns into be 21.7. So we're going to call that our ideal BMI. So 21.7. 21.7, and that's going to equal our unknown weight divided by a height. And let's go ahead and say this person is, I don't know, let's say 4 feet 2 inches tall. So 4 feet would be what? 48 inches plus another 2 inches would be 50 inches, which we would square, times 703. <clears throat> now, to get x by itself, we're going to have to multiply both sides by 50 squared and divide by both sides by 703. So we can actually do that all at the same time. So 50 squared cancels, 703 cancels, that gives us x by itself. In our calculator, gosh, what would I do? I would type 50 squared times 21.7 divide by 703. What does that give us? Let's see. So I have not figured that out. I got to go ahead and calculate that in the calculator. So 50 squared times 21.7 divided by 703. And that gives us an ideal weight of about 77.2 pounds. 77.2 pounds. Now, again, remember, this was a person that was only, what, four feet, two inches tall. So that's not a very tall person. Okay, so that would be their ideal weight being that short. I uh, hope this helps you out. Those are the two different ways we can solve for BMI is what is your current BMI or what would be your ideal weight going for an ideal BMI. Or, you know, if you wanted to go outside to one of these others, you're welcome to do that too. You could be shooting for trying to get to normal from one side or the other. So maybe trying to shoot for 18.5 or 24.9 to make it more realistic. That would be something to do as well. So I hope this helps out, folks, and we will talk next time. Bye-bye.